Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome to my studio. I'm Wendy from Wendy A. Diaz Art. And today I'm gonna to be working on a black and white painting. It's part of my black and white painting series. And I thought I'd take you along and show you some of the techniques that I've been using. They're inspired by Jackson Pollock. I just, I just love his artwork. His artwork was really organic and very original. And um, yeah, he had a really cool technique and I thought you'd have a lot of fun with it today with me. So like and subscribe, that helps me out a great deal. And why don't you come along? We'll have some fun. All right, so let's begin. We're gonna be using acrylic paint today. And I love acrylic paint. It's so forgiving. It's great for beginners, especially when you just start painting. If you don't like something that you've done, you can always just let it dry and then you just paint right over it. So don't beat yourself up. It's not a big deal. And today is, is going to be a fun technique. So let's just go with it. All right. I have already started this canvas. It has a, a, a texture on it already with molding paste. I'll link that video down below if you want to do that technique. If you don't, then you can just start, you can just paint your sides in, in the front of it uh, like a light gray and then and then the black because we're going to be painting over this today. So that's not a big deal. We're going to do a quick paint. Okay, so I'm going to take my white paint and I'm going to put it on my palette. There we go. And I already got paint on me. So, and that's part of the process you get paint on you. So if you don't like getting paint on yourself, you can also use um, gloves. So you can do that too. I also keep baby wipes around, so just in case. So I'm gonna take my paintbrush, I'm gonna dip it in my water, and then just take my paintbrush and just lightly, I kind of want the white a little bit loose, so I'm gonna put more water into it. Okay, so I'm starting on my canvas and I'm just lightly painting it, just crisscrossing back and forth. And we're gonna tilt our canvas forward and we're gonna do the top of it. I don't really want a solid, 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 solid white. So we are just painting it very loosely. I do everything kind of loose. I, I just like it that way, that's my technique. I don't like to paint real, real tight either. So just get it on the canvas. Make sure you use a little bit more water if you want to. I'm just gonna get that on really quickly. And make sure you do your sides. There we go. And you can come right down to that line too. So the reason why I don't really want a solid white is because I want some of that gray peeking through. I like that gray, it adds a little interest and it adds a little bit more contrast to my painting. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna rinse out my brush now. And now I'm gonna go for my black paint. There we go. I think I might tilt you down just a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. You don't need to see me. There we go. And I'm just gonna take my black paint and just go right along the bottom of this. Actually, I'm gonna tilt my canvas. Don't don't be afraid to tilt your canvas. You know, when you're working, you wanna make your life a little bit easier. There we go. And just go right across. You can do crisscrosses if you want to. Um, I'm just kind of doing this really quickly. I'm just trying to cover up some of that gray I already put on my canvas. There we go. Okay, so this was really fast and easy. And that's one part of it, okay? Okay, so let's go on to the next step. This step is so much fun. You're gonna really enjoy this. And I'm gonna show you a really cool technique that I actually did because we're gonna get this kind of 
everywhere. And you're gonna want something down on your table, uh, either some plastic or something. And I'm gonna show you what I did so that I don't I don't splat this everywhere because Jackson Pollock, I mean, he had paint everywhere, and I just don't have room for that anyway. So I'm gonna re I'm gonna take this down. I'm gonna move the easel out of the way. And I have this box. I made this box, so you can tell I use it a lot. So I'm gonna tilt you down so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. And I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna put it inside my box. Okay, so I have my box and everything's in the right position, I think. There we go, I hope you can see that. And we're gonna start, we're gonna start to have some fun and we are going to drizzle paint. We're gonna kind of fling paint around. And this is why I have the box. It makes my life so much easier and it might make your life easier at home too. But if you don't have a box, it's not a big deal. You can always use, you can always put plastic or newspaper down or, or whatever you have. Okay, so I'm actually going to turn this around. This is already dry already. And position that again. And we're gonna take our white paint. Now this white paint is acrylic. It's just watered down. And what I'm looking for when I use this paint is I want to drizzle my paint. So I'm gonna mix my paint around. And I want my paint to be a little bit drippy, but not too drippy. I don't want it like too watery. I want it to be thick enough. See that? See if you can see that. There we go. See how that paint is just dripping off of that, but it's still a little bit thick too at the same time. That's what you're looking for. Actually, I think I changed my mind. I think I'm gonna use black first. I always change my mind. That's what happens with me. I change my mind, just like everything. All right, we're gonna mix our black paint now. Here we go. We're gonna mix it really, really well. And like I said, we want it to be kind of drippy. And if it's not drippy that much, you can take a little bit of water and I'm just gonna put just a tiny bit of water in here. Here we go. Just a tiny bit. You just want that paint to move. We want it nice and easy to move too. Because we're gonna be drizzling and and kind of flinging paint actually this is a great technique to to do with your children children love this technique there we go yeah it's dripping a little bit i think yeah i think it's gonna work <laughs> let's see let's see if it works so i'm gonna take my paint and i'm gonna kind of fling it up and down well that looks great that's already started to look good and just run it up and down, up and down. And if you want to, you can kind of go in a circle if you want. I think I want to just go up and down. Oh, this is nice. This is building some really, really nice texture on, on this canvas. There we go. And this is going to be really unique to you. Wherever you put that, that's because you put it there. Don't, don't be afraid. Don't think that you have to do exactly like me because you don't. Okay, so we're just gonna go up and down. I'm gonna put a little bit of black paint on the bottom too. There we go, very organic. Just move your wrist up and down and around. Yeah. That looks pretty cool. I like that. Check this out. See that? It almost looks like grass. I love this technique. You could do so much with this technique. So I'm gonna turn my canvas. I'm gonna have it go the other way. And now I'm gonna take my white paint. Now I'll use my white paint and I'll mix it a little bit. And now we're just gonna kind of drizzle up and down. 
up and down on the top. This is just really cool. It's just so an awesome technique to do. Like I said, children love to do this technique because they love to fling paint up and down. <laughs> there we go. See how I, I'm not worried where my paint is actually going? Because my wrist is actually is actually doing it. So I'm going to put a little bit of white on the top. There we go. Yeah, love it. Love, love that. Okay. So now we have it on the on the bottom. And the bottom kind of looks like roots a little bit. So if you turn your canvas, there we go. And that is the technique. I just think that's so cool. It added so much texture to your painting. And yeah, that, that was really fun to do. So we'll tilt you up, there we go. So thanks, thanks for coming by everybody and um, doing this really cool technique with me. I really appreciate you being here. I just love this. This is so cool. You can hang this on your wall, on a white wall, it would really pop. Or you could hang it on a really dark wall too. It has a lot of interest to it. And if you see, I'll bring you up real, real close. There we go. Yeah. So that was really fun. Thanks for coming by. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, see? See how dirty you get? <laughs>